everybody. Welcome to Spiky Saturday number 295 on the Mana Lake. I'm John, as always, and we're going to do some science here. We're going to use the DraftSmith uh, untap.gg robo draft. I've done this science. I know what the results are. I don't think it's a secret. The results are it's bad. Don't use this. Uh, luckily here, you can see it gives us a score, 53 for Werewolf Pack, Werewolf Pack Leader. It's going to change these scores based on what we've drafted, what we've picked, I'll tell you right now, it's going to train, train, railroad us, railroad us into green because we're going to take a green card here. But we'll, I will not be following it, but we'll be talking about what those scores are. But this is an easy werewolf pack leader over a power word kill, I think. Um, Guild Thief is unreasonably highly rated there. But let's take the werewolf pack leader. <clears throat> so this pack, um, I think I'm going to continue to agree with the app, I suppose, by taking the Grim Bounty here. Shambling Ghast at a 30 is pathetic <laughs> but you can see how bad this could be uh so i have done this uh several times this is a, a a pay service you have to pay like five bucks a month to get the access to this but you do get 10 free uses before you have to start paying um as a, a highlight of what's happened in me testing this so far uh, i have a couple of times gone through just picking the highest rated card and then at the end of the draft, it actually builds a deck for you. It tells you which deck you should build. It tell, it gives you three options, and it tells you the relative score of them. The decks it's tried to build have always been terrible as well. But we'll see what it suggests for us, even though I'm not going to follow it here. We've got a Black Dragon, which is fine. We're going to need a way of making sure we get to there. Uh, I kind of like the Soul Knife Spy. I've, I've, I've come up on blue. I've started to come up on blue. I, I've started to understand how blue works. And a big way blue works is luck. <laughs> blue works by having air cult elementals and bouncing and blocking. But you have to get to turn six. And in this format, you have no guarantee of getting to turn six. But if you do, blue can do some work. But we'll just take this black dragon, stick with our grim bounty, I suppose. Um, the ratings here are all meaningless. This should be higher. This should probably be higher. But it's gonna now it's gonna railroad us into black, I think. Here I like Hobgoblin Captain, of course, and I like Moonblessed Cleric. It has me on the Evolving Wilds, but to hell with that. I'm gonna take the Hobgoblin Cleric. Hobgoblin Cleric? Hobgoblin Captain. Um, and maybe we end up in Black Red. Grim uh Black Dragon is not exactly what I want in my Black Red aggro deck, but Hobgoblin Captain is great, and there's nothing competing with it. Maybe the Evolving Wilds, but not really. <clears throat> it does look like green is being cut incredibly hard, which is unfortunate. We have a Sepulchre Ghoul if we want to get into that black-red plan. We get the Ghoul, we get the Price of Loyalty, and then we go, go, go. That Displacer Beast should be more highly rated. That Charm Sleep should be more highly rated. This Priest should be more highly rated. But you see what it's doing. It's basically saying, it's pick five. You don't have any white cards. You can't pick a white card. This card's terrible. And this is why, if you use this app you're going to be a significantly worse drafter. You need to be open for stuff like that. Now, here's a Knoll Hunter. We don't have to be red. It's pushing me into this Plundering Barbarian, but no. This is a much bigger signal than a Plundering Barbarian is. Um, but yeah, we'll take a Knoll Hunter. Um, having a Null Hunter and a Pack Leader makes Black Green look way better than Black Red does just by having a Hobgoblin Captain. Okay, maybe maybe Red is the option. It wants me to take the Moon Druid? No. <laughs> no, the choice is Captain or Price of Loyalty. Um, but yeah, so some of you might ask, what do I care? If people use this and they're bad drafters, what do I care? Doesn't that make drafting easier because everybody's bad? No, it makes drafting much harder because nobody at the table knows what they're doing. If this person doesn't know what they're doing and this person doesn't know what they're doing, my draft is impossible to navigate. Another Hobgoblin Captain? All right, well, now we know where we're going. Um, new players, weak players, bad players can absolutely destroy your draft which is unfortunate. That's one of the big upsides of sealed is that nobody can affect your sealed pool. You can be really unlucky, which would be bad, 
but you know nobody can affect sealed unfortunately sealed on arena sucks a lot um so yeah my, my concern is if people do start using this app in large quantities the drafts might become even more difficult to navigate which i hope is not the case i highly doubt i'm going to play a goblin javelinier i think at this point with three hobgoblin captains we're powerfully off playing green although we might actually be red green eh you know i don't want a black dragon we just have the one sack outlet we don't have any price of loyalty yet let's see where we go let's see where we go you come to a null camp i'll certainly put that in my deck i don't know why this is always so lowly related you want one of these in basically every red deck um i doubt we're going to play anything here we'll cut a red card uh nothing worthwhile here all these cards are well these two cards are nyan unplayable this one's a little bit better uh, as well if you're wondering these numbers up here are lsv's pre set set review scores so they're literally meaningless do not pay attention to them uh we're not going to play either of these cards let's take the barbarian class for vault progress <clears throat> i believe i saw somebody complaining in comments about me using this view a lot um oh well <laughs> I have to see my curve. If you're if you're looking at this and you're not seeing your curve, you're again drafting poorly. It's just infinitely easier to visualize in this way. We might still just be red green. Like these are not the bounty is ever so slightly pushing me into black and the fact that a ghoul and price of loyalty if we can get it would make a very good black red deck but if we're red green we've got another pack we've got nothing but pack tactics creatures actually uh and you find a prisoner cool 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 cool, cool, cool. so here it wants me to take another grim bounty um this is the standard uh afr experience where i kind of really want to go green so they gave me one single green card in the pack that's unplayable i've seen more and more people complaining about that so maybe it is actually a thing so there's a price of loyalty that we could hope comes back around there's green is not in the discussion for this pick unfortunately um tiger tribe hunter is also really good if we end up in that black red deck but i guess we just take the grim bounty and hope that the packs work out like this is the part that really sucks where it feels like sealed it's like well i didn't open green but it's draft i'm i'm supposed to be able to navigate and get rewarded for navigating but you don't get rewarded for navigating anymore I really wonder what causes that. It does feel like there's two artifacts in like almost every pack. And I don't think there's that many more artifacts in AFR than How do you do colorless on Scryfall? C? Yes. So below rare, there's nine artifacts in the set. Strixhaven also had nine. Nope, that's Kaladesh, not Kaldheim. Kaldheim had ten. No, is that Kaldheim? Kaldheim had ten. Kaldheim had more artifacts below rare than this set does. And yet every friggin' pack seems to have an artifact. Ignore that noise. Um, that makes me really wonder if they are weighting artifacts in a very strange way. We can take another Hobgoblin Captain um i'm pretty okay just not having fun <laughs> in this draft and just smashing people with two drops there's an owl bear if i did want to explore green um again if i'm going black red the sepper cool ghoul should probably be a little bit higher but let's take the captain and let's at least get into the one color that we know we're in that noise if you're curious i believe was me winning a game 
on Board Game Arena, or maybe it was just a game ending. Ah, no, it was me winning a game of Welcome To. That should be the last time that noise happens. Uh, we've got a precipitous drop if we're going to be in black. The green cards are bad. The red cards are somewhat mediocre. Boots of Speed is fine, especially in this deck. Uh, but I think we're going to push into black, red. So let's do it. Looks like we've got a slow drafter here. Oh, hey, Sasha's in this uh, in this pod. They're a good drafter. Um, we got Armory Veteran, we got Plundering Barbarian. Ooh, we got a Lightfoot Rogue up here. Yeah, it's an easy Lightfoot Rogue. Easy Lightfoot Rogue, get in the deck. And yeah, I think we're going to cut the green. Green going to be cut. So 10 artifacts in Kaldheim. What was there in Zendikar? What was Zendikar Rising? Z-N-R? 10 artifacts in Zendikar Rising. And I definitely never felt the pack weirdness that we're feeling in this set. So another artifact in this pack. Uh, we've got a Feign Death versus a Rapier. I think Rapier is probably just better. It wants us to pick the Owl Bear. It, as much as it railroads you into your first pick, it will also really push for you to play three colors all the time. All the time. Uh, we're going to take this Dueling Rapier. It just does work. What's our creature count? Eight. Yeah, Dueling Rapier just does work. I do think I want to Feign Death in this deck as well, too. And there's a very good chance we just don't play this Black Dragon. It's way too expensive. Valor Singer is what we want. That's going to enable some of those really early attacks. Again, one artifact in this pack. What came before Zendikar Rising? M20? M21. <clears throat> M21 had 10 artifacts below rare. Um, Theros Beyond Death had nine. Uh, Hulking Bugbear this late is huge. Obviously red is wide open in this pool. So we'll pick that up. Uh, what came before Theros? Another set that I disliked. Oh, Ikoria came after. Is that IKO? Coria only had seven artifacts. M20 had 15 artifacts. What did Eldraine have? Uh, that's counting commander decks, I think, in booster. That's not right. I'll have to get back to that in a second. Uh, Jaded Cell Sword is fine. That's going to be slightly the top of our curve. I don't want to kick in the door. It's bad. Let's pick it up. Why is this counting whatever this Arcane Signet card is? Tiger Tribe Hunter came back. Nifty. Nifty, nifty. We haven't seen Price of Loyalties, though. And there was a Price of Loyalty in this pack, so somebody else is doing black. Red. I guess we haven't gotten much black. So yeah, somebody else is probably doing black red, but they're passing really good red stuff. So who knows what's up? Uh, like I said, I want feign death. Nobody's in blue. Maybe we should have been. We're not going to play this goblin javelin here. It's bad. We're not going to play this black dragon. It's too expensive. Why is in booster not working? In boosters? Or was arcane signet in some random booster? Uh, Boots of Speed is a card we'll play. Because it's telling me there was 21 artifacts in Eldraine. Um, Armory Veteran versus Goblins. What's our creature count at? 10? Yeah, let's go Goblins. Unexpected Windfall, not going to play it. And Secret Door, not going to play it. Um, well, at least we get a Dragon's Fire, because there's one black card in the pack, and there's one artifact. Interesting, 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 interesting. Have we found the problem? Um, yeah, easy Dragon's Fire here.
no artifacts in the pack. Okay. Um, one red card, we don't want it. One black card, luckily. Well, two black cards, but one that we want. I do need more creatures. I need a lot more creatures. But there's just so much good removal. Yeah, we'll take a magic missile here. All right, I, I need creatures. <laughs> I need creatures. We're going to side in this. You find some prisoners if needed. Um, I guess this is a creature, kind of. And we'll go from there. I guess there were a lot of artifacts in Eldraine. And never, ever, ever, ever did I feel this, like, weird, um, oh, Arcane Signet was probably in, like, a set booster or something, wasn't it? Never have I felt this weird uh, pack collation stuff going on. Um, there's nothing I want here. I don't want to check for traps. I don't want an unexpected windfall. I don't want a face reversal. I guess we'll just take an Evolving Wilds. Sure. Um, I'll play a vampire spawn, I suppose. Card's fine. Massively overrated. It's like the third best common according to the data. That doesn't mean that you should be picking it like first pick like some people are doing now. Thieves tools. Uh, every card in our deck, except for these two gets in with thieves tools uh, we need more creatures though um but i don't care for a jaded cell sword well that's a lot of mana to be spending i want the jaded cell sword we're not spending mana we're smashing face uh, all of these cards are bad I'm not going to play a single one of them i'll take the dwarf <clears throat> yet another magic missile It would be rude not to pick it up. I mean, I guess we're not going to be the hyper aggro deck, but we are going to be the you don't have creatures to block my creatures deck. So this is our deck as it stands right now. We'll play 16 lands easy. So what are my non-creature spells? Two Grim Bounties, one Faint Death, one Boots of Speed, one Dueling Rapier, one Dragon's Fire, one You Come to Null Camp. I guess we're not going to come to a Null Camp. Not in this deck. Our opponent won't have blockers. Um, yeah, so we'll cut that. So I don't know what's going on in this pod. Like something's very weird in this pod where red black appears to be heavily cut and yet we were getting like ninth pick magic missiles and like wheeling a tiger tribe hunter so who knows who knows 24 cards what did i cut did i accidentally cut something i guess i cut you come to an old camp without having a replacement yet <clears throat> um so in that case maybe i will jam in i'll jam in a an army armory veteran there we go perfect well, that, I believe, is the deck. And I'll tell you right now, I'll bet you anything, this app that helps you draft is going to suggest that I play Jund. It's going to suggest that I play Jund in order to splash a werewolf pack leader and a null hunter. I'll guarantee it. So here we go. It's going to load deck recommendations. And it strongly recommends that we build... Okay, Rakdos. Although... Three points less, whatever the hell these points mean. Three points less, we should play Jund to splash for those two green cards. Don't use this app. So it wants us to build Rakdos. Let me see what it wants us to do for Rakdos. It wants me to cut Feign Death, Boots of Speed, Dueling Rapier, play an Unexpected Windfall, and a Black Dragon. No. No? 
Hell no. Hell no. Um, I will cut a swamp to get to 16 lands. Wait, I'm sorry. How many lands does it want me to play? 9, 10. It wants me to play 17 lands. Um, yeah, no, this just looks like exactly what I want to do. Hit them fast, hit them early, kill everything they play after like turn four. Win the game. Right? Right? Slight chance that I cut sepulcher, sepulcher, sepulcher is an easy word to say. Sepulcher, and then preparing to say the word ghoul after, screws my mouth up. Um, because it's not doing much. It's basically a worse two drop than every other two drop we have. Um, and Black Dragon, I guess, is like flood insurance. Yeah, let's take the flood insurance. Let's take the flood insurance. I don't want to be playing a seven drop in a 16 land deck. But that's where we live now. Uh, I definitely want all these tricks, and that's the deck. Let's go. So that's the app. Don't use the app. It's bad. It'll make you a significantly worse drafter. Learn how to draft. Learn how to evaluate cards. Learn how to evaluate cards regardless of what set you're drafting, and you'll do infinitely better. Play first. Um, yeah, that's a keep. I've seen a lot of people say, oh, well, I'm you know intimidated by draft. That would really help me out. If that's what you need to try out drafting, give it a go. But if you in any way start to get reliant on it, you're going to be an incredibly bad player. So I would strongly, strongly advise never starting to use it in the first place. You know, it's not like training wheels on a bike. It's like, learning to bike by walking down the street <laughs> um well we'll pass the turn i'm getting my least plentiful color of mana moon blessed cleric easy kill easy kill uh, i will not reveal a dragon and i assume they'll get a minimus containment or some sort of horrifying class. Don't paladin class me, bro. Monk class, that's not horrifying. I've seen people talking up this card, but... Meh. Dungeoneer, sure. I'll murder that. Death to that. And let's start with the smushing. And let's jam a rapier on as well. <clears throat> the old attack for six on turn four. Attacking for six on turn four should not have made it past testing. Should not have made it past testing. Um, all right, let's trade. Sounds good. Let's get a Valor Singer. Pass the turn. Sure is five lands we have. Planar Ally. Could have used a red source. Um, really could have used a red source. I guess we attack in. They're going to take it. And so we will surprise play a couple of goblins here. We have more red sources than black sources in the deck. How does this app work? Yeah, we've got seven mountains in the deck. <laughs> There's only three swamps left in the entire thing. Dungeon map, sure thing. Whip that up, sure thing. That's a bold attack. Uh, no, I should let them choose their thing first. Treasure token, very bold attack. 
Are you going to minus 4 minus 0? Oh? Sure. What haves, my dude? Let's make some goblins. Let's attack in for three. Drop a hobby goblin. Pass the turn. <clears throat> so what are they going to do? Draw a card. Draw a card and scry. Draw a card and gain a life. Whatever. Ooh, if they attack me here, they're one of the boldest people I've ever played. Bold. Draw a card. In a life. Uh, so we are coming in for... We have lethal on board at the moment. Well, now we have significantly less than lethal on board. There's the red source that I finally freaking needed. Um, let's come on and slam. <clears throat> Then let's go two to the dragon and one to them. Murderize that dragon, drop him to five. They're going to scry and tell me that a goblin can't attack. That's fine. I think we would have been fine if we didn't have all those mountain issues. But we have a very good chance of losing this one, I think. So we'll go back in and probably have mountain issues. I will say I found it hilarious. Uh, I was watching the Dice Tower, probably the most well-known board game content creators on the internet. Uh, and they were talking about magic because they were doing a top 10 uh, two-player advanced games. And one of the guys chose magic as his number two, I think, on the list. And also briefly talked about how magic has significant issues with mana issues and very, very dated concepts, despite being a very good game. And I was just like, yeah, yeah. I keep telling people that all the time. And everybody's like, nah, you're full of it. You don't know what you're talking about. Magic isn't dated. Oh, my Lord. Oh my freaking lord. Seven lands. Seven lands. There's only nine left in the deck. <clears throat> so they're going to scry two and exile two, I would guess. Oh, and they're going to bounce my tribe hunter. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Friggin' land issues, man. Friggin' land issues. You know what's in my hand? I think I might have attacked in for five there with Skullport and Thieves Tools. What's the ultimate of this? Oh, whatever. <clears throat> Ow. Did you exile card? Did you exile cards? Huh? Exile the top two cards of your library. Did they not do that? I'm so confused, and we just flooded out some more, so that's fun. We're dead. Um, what? Oh, uh, maybe they exiled two lands, and I just... Yeah, they must have exiled two lands and I missed it because it's not until end of turn. It's at that moment. Uh, anyways, we're dead. We flooded out in our 16 land deck. Drew half our lands in less than half our deck. Cool beans. Cool beans.
Um, they've got enough artifacts that I don't mind. You find some prisoners and precipitous drop does not hit a lot of their stuff. So we'll cut one of those. Let's go back in, not have land issues, I guess. I would just love a well-designed set in the year 2021. Just one well-designed limited set. Let's play first. <laughs> um, yeah, just one, one well-designed limited set and also a game that's designed for the year 2021. Let's mull that. Uh, we'll keep that. Tell me, I dare you, tell me that land issues are rare. That land issues don't happen that much. It's like one in 50 games that land issues happen. Land issues don't happen very much. I dare you. I dare you. <clears throat> Play that mountain. Drop the boots of speed past the turn. Is my gain? No, my gain should be where it should be. Uh, let's drop a captain. And let's ask them if they would like to die on turn three-ish. Miss an artifact. Cool beans. Hobgoblin. Equip. Smash in for seven on turn three. Yeah. Yeah. Seven on turn three. Just expertly designed set. Just expertly designed. Just so good. Just so good. Um, I want Tiger Tribe Hunter played next turn and equipped. Let's get in for three. Expertly designed set. Zero flaws. Dungeon map. Elvis Torch, four, five, six, seven, eight. They almost die. Not quite, but they almost die. <clears throat> so this is turn five. Y'all ready for a turn six win? Oh boy. Eight more weeks. <laughs> Eight more weeks. Eight more weeks. Um No, because of the three and four and needing the black. This is close to a keep. This is really close to a keep. Like, if that cell sword was a two drop, it's an instant keep. So, we'll maul. Ah, uh, that'll work. We'll get rid of that tribe hunter. We'll go and find a red, play a black, play a rogue, go from there. Hawk? Sure. That is going to be real juicy for magic missile. Give me red. <clears throat> Thieves tools? Sure. Oh, one me. Give me an X2. Nothing. I'll trade if you want to. Or we'll roll a 20. This set's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this set should not exist. Hmm. 
I don't like how rapidly they're heading up towards the dragon. Grim Bounty? Sure. <clears throat> Alright, well, it's very unlikely we're going to roll another 20, so let's Magic Missile the Hawk in their face. One and two. Then let's attack in for anywhere from two to five. We'll find out. Two. <clears throat> Pegasus, that's fine. A-OK -okay by me. Feels like they have an instant speed effect in hand. Uh, let's come on and slam. I'll happily trade or deal three, their choice. They're cool with the trade. Um, so we're going to go Captain Goblins, I think. <clears throat> Shambling Ghast? Sure. It's a good blocker. Spare Dagger? Sure. I'm playing a lot of artifacts, eh? Suit it up? Sure. Goblins. Um, so they can kill a goblin and kill Hobgoblin Captain, but they'll take four. I'm pretty fine with that. They're almost dead on cards, and we're going to replace it with a 4-3. Oh, they wouldn't take four. They can block that way. They would take two instead. So nine instead of seven. That's fine. And we'll drop the Cell Sword and ask what these last two cards are, because they don't seem to be creatures that are good. Otherwise, they'd be playing them more. And there's a Black Dragon. So they were on that Black Dragon. All right, we've got plenty of removal to kill that. We just need to not flood out. But you know what channel this is. They're gonna for me kill a goblin. I mean, I would, I, I would, I would five me, but okay. <clears throat> Ingenious Smith. Give me a set where there's at least one frigging vanilla creature, right? At least one frigging vanilla creature. What's the last vanilla creature we had? Was there one in Strix? Angel's Guardian and Spine Carrack. There were two in Strix. But Kaldheim didn't have any, right? <sighs> Kaldheim had Grizzled Outrider. Did Zendikar Rising have any? I thought a lot of these sets. Zendikar Rising. I swear there was a set other than this one that also didn't have a vanilla creature. Cool Bean Arenos. Um, this is your weekly warning. Don't play AFR. It's bad. Um, all right. Let's go back in. M21? M20. I swear there was a set somewhat recently where we had this big talk about how there were no vanilla creatures. Maybe maybe we were just talking about how Kaldheim only had one. Yeah, it must have been Kaldheim only had one. And then Strix had two. And this set, which everybody is like, Haha, it's a core set, has none. Uh, it's a keep. Evolving Wilds, get a swamp past the turn. <clears throat> um, yeah, Hobgoblin. The 
Pixie Guide. Um, I'll trade if you want. You want? Cool. We'll drop a rogue. Then we'll jam a rapier onto it. Nope, it's dead. Black Dragon, which of course means that we will now never see another land. <laughs> oh, man. Land issue is a feature of magic that should go away. In for three, I'll kill a guide if you want. You do not want. Let's pop that down past the turn. Pretty good. Pretty good. Kill those. <clears throat> they are trying to roll some dice to kill the trickster. And I would like to scry. Jaded Cell Sword, sure. Let's get in for three. Play the cell sword, get in for three. If they want to trade, that's cool. Hoarding ogre, that's fine. Uh, let's get rid of that pixie. Let's present a blocker for the ogre. Oh, cool. So we're dead. We're dead. We're on the old die to rare plans. Cool. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. One, two, three, four, five. So the only way we win this game is not. Yeah, I think I'm going to choose to not win this game. Let's choose to not win this game. Oh my god. So, we have to chump block every single turn. We don't have lands. We never saw anything more than four lands. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Never assume your opponent's not dumb, I suppose. Four, five, six, seven. Because um, they tapped their they tapped their land to cast that. But we still didn't have them dead. But we had a We would have Tiger Tribe Huntered, we would have had a block. Yeah. Yeah, never assume your opponent's not dumb. That was my fault. Um Yeah, no sideboard here. Let's go back in. We would have had the Tiger Tribe Hunter. We would have still been on four lands. They probably wouldn't have tried to have, have abyssed me, but they would have still been drawing a card each turn. We were probably still dead, but I conceded too early. I assumed they knew what they were doing. We'll play first. That should be good. 
theoretically. Let's drop the boots. The, the boots? All the storm giants right on time. Battlecry goblin. Nice to see ya. Let's get in for three. To me, sure. <clears throat> In for three. Drop a vampire spawn. I still find it wild how rapidly this set hit a wall. Like, this set was done, solved, and over on, like, day four or something. I don't think this set lasted a week. I think you're done attacking me here for a bit. Two goblins. Cool. 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 Fun game. Fun game. Fun, fun, fun game. Um, in we go. Uh-huh. Huh? Good blocks. Good blocks. Bull blocks. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. They are going to attempt to kill me. Um, but you see a pair of goblins should stop that. <clears throat> should stop that. Ah, uh, they're playing very safe. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah. Hmm. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I double clicked. I hate this goddamn game. Okay, they chose not to kill me. So we're all just making massive frigging arena mistakes. Cool. I guess I psyched them out. They thought we were in block step. I guess. Um, so they block, block... Oh, this game is sucking the life out of me. Um, yeah, so we don't have attacks here. So we're just going to have to drop this and pass the turn. <laughs> comedy of errors, comedy of errors. On all sides. Pretty good. Pretty good. Two, three, four, five. I'm dead. If you attack with all, I'm dead. You figured it out. Well done. They're going to pump up to not make a mistake this time. Smart plays. Good Christ. Don't play AFR. Bye.